happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Dottabert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Gradio 298. It's an AM FM stereo digital portable radio. You can find this retailing on Amazon for about $19, with a coupon brings it down to around $17. If you're really lucky, you'll get the closeouts or the overstocked item like I did, this white model for 10 bucks. So I did warn people about this sale uh, before I could even get the radio to my door because I heard it was a good one from other people. So hopefully you got in on the same deal. So here's the radio uh, box that came in, portable radio, basic, but it's got gold foil, loving it. Going to the back here, it says best personal radio. Awesome. Enjoy music and news everywhere. Not just here, everywhere. All right, so I took everything out of the box. Let's see what we get. So we get to start the show, the 298. Nice. Got this really cool pearlescent white enclosure. I really like that. It's kind of metallic y. Yeah, it's built really well, too. Real solid little radio. Okay. Next, we get a charging cable. It is a USB to micro. Yeah, no Type C here, but uh, it's a pretty slim radio, and they have the port on the bottom. Next, we got this little tool. I have no idea where it goes because there's no reset hole. I thought like a reset pin to go in somewhere, but. It almost looks like a SIM card remover for a phone. I don't know what the heck they got that for. Odd. Okay, next we get a little card from them. Gradio. Nice play on words. There's their email. Contact them if you want. And thank you for your purchase. All right, great. And then we got a user manual. A little micro one. We'll go over it real quick. So there you are, page one. There's some contents. Because I might miss something. There's a lot to the little radio, which surprisingly, for 10 bucks. I was pretty impressed. See all kinds of things in this. It's got an alarm. It's got a clock. Look at all that. You got presets. You can manually enter them. You can auto scan for them. Yeah, I love that. It's got a built in rechargeable battery. You don't have to worry about putting batteries in. Batteries included. That's kind of nice. So, there you go. Same the time, you got 12 or 24 hour clock. That's a handy thing. Setting the alarm. Yeah, it beeps. There's, it doesn't wake to radio. I wish it had a wake to radio thing. It's kind of a bummer that it doesn't, I don't think. I think it's just alarm. I was playing with it earlier. It has like a beep to it. It's pretty, pretty annoying to wake you up. <laughs> so if you're traveling and using this radio, you could do it. Tuning the stations, storing the stations. Yeah, it's pretty simple. This is just for you guys in case I... This is something along the way. Yes, here we go. Manually search stations, FM stereo. Now, FM stereo on this thing was pretty cool because it seemed like every station um, came in in stereo. Like, it was like a wide open thing. It was cool. It could even have static and it was still coming in stereo. And you could turn it off. Now, the weird thing is it doesn't remember that you had stereo when you switch bands, so you have to put the stereo back on every time. But that's okay. It's 10 bucks. I'm not going to complain too much. We're almost through with this little manual, and then we'll get to the radio. So, yeah. There's that, and then just think of one more page. Oh, can't forget the last page here. Safety instructions, and then restoring factory settings, which is an interesting one. You press the volume up and down buttons at the same time in the clock state. And there you go, technical indicators. Awesome, okay. So let's get to the radio, the fun part. All right, so dimensions real quick. Two and a quarter inches in width, we have a height of four and one quarter inches, and we have a thickness of three quarters of an inch. So pretty compact little guy. Uh, I got a little speaker down here, uh, big display. Um, so I'll show you, there you go. Now, if you turn it off by pressing and holding the power button, you gotta reset the clock, which is weird. So it, it's always in the sleep mode. So you probably have to keep it charged, probably charge it every couple days. But uh, that's neat though. It has a nice large display, easy to read, and it has a clock. So yeah, I'm liking that. 10 bucks, rock on. <laughs> Uh, so we got dimensions. Let's do a size comparison. I uh, always like doing these. So we have CC Pocket. So it's about the same size as the Pocket, except it's a little thinner. There you go. And it has a speaker, which is nice. Yeah, look at that. And rechargeable battery. Yeah, pretty slick. Here you get the idea. And then, of course, we always have CC Skyweave in the house. Two. Yeah, I love it. 
AM, FM, weather, air, shortwave. Don't forget FM stereo as well. Sounds amazing on headphones and uses standard batteries for 99 bucks versus 10 bucks. <laughs> I would like to show that like this is awesome radio, but you have to pay for it. All right, and next we have, if you don't have those radios, we have a deck of cards. And who is that man? It's Iron Man. He loves radios from China land. It's got to have presets. It's got to look cool. It's a radio for no Iron Fool. <laughs> it's Iron Man. Singing it like no one can. <laughs> All right, you get the idea. Deck of cards. Yeah, it's about the same size. Boom. All right, cool. Rock on. All right, so feature-wise, we're going to talk about the what we can expect on the 298. So I'm going to zoom in on down a little bit. A little up close and personal here. All right, with our little device. So as I was telling you, this enclosure is really nice. Uh, well built, well put together. Uh, plastics are nice. It's like this pearlescent um, white, which is actually kind of cool. Liking that. A little touch, little touches. Got a micro USB port in the bottom for charging. Five volts, one amp input. Your battery is a 900 milliamp hour flat pack on the inside. I don't know how to open this up. I'm sure it's probably a screw behind the label. But uh, it's got little feet. Don't expect to stand this up, though, because it's a trick. It doesn't take much to knock it over, as you can see there. So I would just hang it by something here in the back with this carry lanyard. Not bad. Nice they include that. Cool. Going to the front of the radio, you can see we got that large screen. Displays our clock in 12-hour, 24-hour format. Our battery life indicator. Of course, it's going to show frequency information when we turn it on. So that'll be nice. We got buttons on the front. We got the memory to add memory manually and to auto scan and save memories. Now you get 20 on FM and 20 on AM. Don't use auto scan because it'll use them up really quick and you'll never have the ones you really want. So definitely just manually enter them in. It's a very simple process. You find a station you like, you hit this once, then you go to the top buttons, you hit M minus or M plus, and you put it in whatever preset you want by hitting those two buttons. So memory, those two buttons, and you can pick which slot, 1 through 20, you want to put that preset into. Tuning, so you got your incremental tuning, and then you got uh, seek tuning, which is nice. Band, simple, AM, FM. Of course, I'm showing you the clock in standby. Speaker down here is pretty small, but it sounds decent. Uh, it's about one and a quarter inches, might be two inch. It's, it's really small. It's one of those tiny ones, but it has some good sound to it. Right hand side, we got our volume controls, and we have a sleep and power button there. Going to the top, we have an antenna, which is super, super short. <laughs> this thing suffers from being too short. I mean, I'll be honest with you, this is like six and a quarter inches. At, when I was doing FM testing, which we're going to talk about, I had actually touched the top of the antenna to get better reception. I figured, what the heck, I'll just touch it, get better reception. <laughs> it worked. Um, top buttons here, uh, time set, alarm set. Uh, preset down, preset up, and then of course you have a lockout button, which is nice, and then you have your FM stereo toggle on and off. Headphone experience uh, was decent. Um, you do have low-level hiss, so don't expect to listen to your programs at low level, because it will probably bother you. But on FM, expect light lows, strong mids, strong highs. At AM, expect a nice neutral tone for talk programming. I was very impressed with the headphone jack, um, listening to music, and the AM broadcast. So overall, really nice. So yeah, we got that. We got the back strap here. I talked about the battery. There's a little frequency information. It is set at 10 kilohertz. There's no way to change it to 9. So if you're wondering, there's no 9 kilohertz stepping. And like I mentioned, there's a 900 milliamp hour battery on the inside. So in our little charging port on the bottom to charge it. Okay, cool. So we're going to talk about FM reception, then we'll turn it on. FM reception report. I always do it in a five-tier method. We got uh, fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Uh, this one scored around a good for sensitivity. It found 64 stations in my area, and it receives an okay to good on selectivity because if you got a strong station, it bleeds through to like adjacent stations, and it's kind of annoying. So you might hear that tonight. I don't know how it's going to play out. I haven't tried tuning it downstairs yet, but we'll find out. We're on AM band. I'm just going to mention real quick, daytime. Expect it to run great on locals and get most of your semi-locals. I was impressed with this uh, during the day on AM. It's actually a little AM machine. I didn't think a $10 radio with a big screen like this would be any good, but actually it is. So um, let's go ahead and turn it on, and we'll do a demo, audio demo, then we'll start going to the bands. So a power button here. We got Radio Totterbert on 97.7. I'll show you how, what I'm doing. So I'm using a C-Crane FM transmitter 2. 
hooked up to a mp3 player with uh, music I downloaded from YouTube. Let me show you. Here we go. Okay. Get it in the frame. Come on, give me that chord. Tap the volume. Go rock out. audio demo going on so great uh, what we're gonna do is turn off that transmitter real quick so it doesn't interfere with our band scan uh, yeah let's turn all that stuff okay great so you can see the frequency we're on all right let me bring that back up you can actually see the display when the lights go out too which is nice but our fm band uh, volume you saw the volume up on the top right corner 97.7 megahertz battery life so yeah let's go ahead and hook up a little wire to our antenna because we're in a subfloor basement. This is just a little wire from a uh, PL330 or a PL380, excuse me. I think it's like a 15 foot wire. Comes with the radio. You can pick up the Kato T1 or Sanjin uh, ANT60. Uh, those are great little wires, 22 foot wires. Uh, that'll give any extra reception to FM or shortwave. So we're just going to hook that there and we're going to cruise the FM band. Okay, so we're going to preset down. See where I'm at. Oh, there we are. Preset one. Okay, so we'll turn this up. Seek tune. In fact, but that's something that Winter Olympian Simadeli Adiagba wants to change. She's already made history in her sport. By their worship service at 10 a.m. Washington Evangelical Church is located at 3805 Laporte Avenue in Valparaiso, Indiana. For more information, please visit their website at wefcvalpo.org 
or call them at two. So just real quick for information purposes, uh, 1143, that's PM, as you can see there, Central Standard Time. I'm near Chicago, Illinois, USA, if you're wondering where these stations are coming from and where I'm located. So yeah, we're picking up Chicago stations on the FM band. Turn that back on by single press on the power. Incremental tuning. So balance. it has special meaning, and I feel like I can just, you know, look back to that memory and hopefully bring back some of that magic to uh, the world championships. And I know it'll be a great day if I just give it my all, just like I did a couple years ago there. I'm the only Nigerian who was qualified for the world championships this season because there's certain um, qualification requirements. And um, yeah, I'm the only. Just like Crowder, Cody Carnes. Blessing offer, Tasha Layton. Cabins are already booked. Head to klovecruise.com. I will never let you down. Promise me, promise me, you won't let me down. CaliforniaPsychics.com. Right now, new customers get 80% off their first reading. Experience the joy of certainty. California Psychics. Look around. You can find cars like these on Auto Trader. Like that car riding right your tank. Yes, I use it all the time, and I've made around $200. Now, Stop calm. If you want to own a big diamond, the time is now. While I'm still out here in the rain. Finding quite a bit. Not sleeping now. The wire is helping. Heaven in heaven knows how it hurts this way. How much it costs? It never been cheap. It never been turn your click. Rockford Rock Station, love it. I'll listen to this one quite a bit on the EP Pro. I'll always be here for you. And by here. Durante tu periodo, los flujos repentinos suceden. Pero ahora puedes decir. And imagine how you could be so. Special teams Pro Bowl appearances with 10 announced his retirement. In college football, the College Football Playoff Board of Managers unanimously approved a model that will guarantee the five highest-ranked conference champions inclusion in the expanded. Lo toma unos pocos minutos. Están calificados con cinco estrellas en. To gdzieś mi to uciekło. No to następnym razem pani. Thank you. 
Oh, exit the elevator now. Escúchalo todos los domingos por la ley 107.9. The bottom of the band. You can have another one or there was something wrong with the baby. You know, it's better off this way. <laughs> we just heard that. It's pretty funny. Okay, so there it is. Yeah, that's the FM. It's pretty amazing when you have a wire hooked up to it. Without that wire, forget it. Um, also, I wanted to mention, though, when you're using headphones, yeah, you can put the antenna down, and it uses the um, headphones as your aerial. Now, it's not any better. It's a little bit better than the, the whip. So when I did the test, I used the whip only. Um, but when you're using the radio, you can put it in your pocket. If you've got strong stations nearby, uh, you'll have no problem with getting FM stereo and listening with headphones uh, on FM. So let's go to AM and show it off. So let's go hit the band button. Uh, let's see if we got preset down. Let's see, I got those preset buttons. Let's see where they're at. There they are. So yeah, 560 we could start out. Let's see. I don't think this thing's going to DX at night. I haven't really tried. I've been using it now for three years. I've been taking it for a while now. I feel better. I live on... 560 WIND Chicago. Oh, 550. Nuclear waste dump that's been on fire for 20 years. So, uh, St. Louis. Listen to this story. Let me tell you about outdoor living. Outdoorliving.com. 314-966. Uh, KTRS, St. Louis, Missouri. 275 miles, 5,000 watts. Nice. Okay, so let's go up the band. Training in. Okay, so this music here is uh, WSM, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles, coming in great, always booming. Um, good music. See, this little radio rocks for 10 bucks. Loving it. We're just picking up 660. WFAN, New York, New York. Seven hundred fifty miles to the northeast. Oh, much love out to Greg. Uh, still praying for you, dude. Hey, I love you, Teddy. Oh, it could be six seventy. Yeah, I thought we were picking up. New York. Now there might be New York there, hidden. Yeah, it's six seventy. Hey, what's up? Oh, uh, good morning. How are you? Or evening? Um, sure, I, I don't I, care. I, about guys about WSCR, the Chicago, home of the Cubs. Um, I don't know how much it is for um, what you guys win. Six eighty. I'll put a pop up here. I think it's CGOB. It's like eight hundred miles away. Nice. WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles, 
He's and at first I kind of thought, hmm, I don't, I'm not sure. Quality seeds from Burpee. Choose from over 450 varieties of flowers, vegetables, and herbs. At WGN Chicago. A huge selection of organic seeds. Now is the perfect time to plant seeds indoors and have... Music there is CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Oh, that's awesome, isn't it? WSB Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles to the southeast. It's kind of quiet. This is uh, Detroit. Okay, this is coming. This is WABC. New York, New York. Barely make it out. Your chance to play and win. When you find yourself betting and thinking about gambling all the time, when you lose more right next than to a you local win, 780 WBBM Chicago. Job, relationships and more. Are you really winning? We are here to help you because you. WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles. People, it's my favorite thing to do. It's my favorite thing about owning the store. Um, take the fear out of it. You know, you, so 840 WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky. Ground Zero and then Coast to Coast in the evenings. Or, the Bible's one of my favorite books. I, and I think everyone, especially a practicing occultist, any real practicing occultist will have. Oh, cool, Colorado. Oh, this is KOA Denver, Colorado, 890 miles to the west. When I first heard this on a portable radio, I was all excited. <laughs> I'm like, Denver, what? It's awesome. CJBC, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. You guys are getting the idea. Just picking up WWL. This is New Orleans, Louisiana, 865 miles to the south. And 55 on WCBS. I'm Bloomberg's Erica Herskowitz. Boom, chicka pop, pop. Well, that'll do it for the WCBS 880 News Late Edition, but stick with WCBS on air and on our website, WCBS880.com, for everything anyone would need to know. On behalf of producer Lou Zambrana, I'm Levon Putney saying thank you all for listening and have a great night. So you can see how it doesn't really have a great AGC, but um, when it comes in, it comes in. So 880 uh, WCBS, New York, New York. 750 miles again, beautiful. And we'll just go pretty much up the band pretty quick. And we'll call it just to show you. There's everything here, and there's if you notice, there's no birdie tones and RFI. RFI is minimal. Here's a Canadian signal. Yeah, CKGM, I think. Montreal, let me see. CBW, Winnipeg, Manitoba. I should know that. 675 miles. WMVP, Chicago. Where Hallis, Ditka, and Lovey led us to that final. Once we borrow that money, it turns into reserves, and that creates nine times more dollars. KDKA, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Billion dollars. As affordable rates. So when it is time to think about life insurance, 
WBZ, Boston, Massachusetts, 880 miles. This is Dan Ray. WBZ. Vacation week is here, and there's plenty of fun for kids in the South Shore. All right, so let's uh, go all the way up the band here. The presets, and we're at top out at. There we go. CHHA Toronto, 460 miles. Beautiful. So top of the band, sounding good. So yeah. Okay, let's go. Top of the band. Pretty quiet right now. I will go ahead and just turn it off. We'll do final thoughts. So yeah. Almost midnight. Cool. Uh, I gotta get ready for my old time radio shows. They start in a few minutes. Um, so yeah, the Gradio 298. Does it get a thumbs up? Yes, for ten bucks if you can find it. Um, if it's uh seventeen dollars, is it worth seventeen bucks? It depends. It's up to you. No replaceable battery. So when the battery goes, it's a radio you toss. Um, probably because I don't know how you'd open it to try to replace the battery. You have to use a pry tool. There might be a screw behind the label. Um, so something to think about. You may have to toss the radio if you don't have the skills inclined to replace it. Um, otherwise, you know, it's not bad for the price. Uh, I'm enjoying it. It's got an alarm. It's got the clock. You know, you just plug it in. Off you go. I mean, that's our devices nowadays. Um, so likes on this radio. Uh, the big display. I like the FM stereo. Like I said, FM stereo, almost every uh, frequency you tune to is amazing. 20 presets per band. I like that. It's compact. It's low cost. Um, yeah. You can manually add the memories, so you can manually, instead of like auto scanning only, that's amazing. And of course, rechargeable, don't need any batteries out of the box. I love that. Plus reception is pretty good on AM, I like that. And FM is okay. Um, again, you need to be outside or in an urban area for that little antenna to do any job, to do anything. But uh, otherwise, not too bad. What I want is a replaceable battery, be nice, and Type-C charging. That's about it. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. You would like if you did. Two, if you like these inexpensive radios and want to see more, subscribe at the bell icon. And three, would you buy the 298 or something else strike your fancy? If it does, comment below, tell me what you like, and I'll take a look at it. But this is pretty neat. I give it definitely totter, totterbert uh, approval, number one, or ace one, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Making stuff up as I go here. But yeah, definitely gets my vote. All right, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.